Hello friends. This is a free video on accounting. This video can be used for MBA, MCOM, BBA, BCOM, higher secondary students and also who interested in accounting. This is an introductory part. Part 1. This video is brought to you by SAC, St. Augustine Tuition Center. Success begin with us. The instructor, Sunny Thomas City, lecture in Kids College, Kottapram, Thrissur, Kerala, India. For more information, log into www. S T A U G U S T I N T U I T I O N dot W E B S dot com Saint Augustine Tuition dot webs dot com email sunny seven seven one nine double H at gmail dot com Please visit our Facebook page for more updates and also subscribe to our youtube channel if you like my videos please share it with uh, your friends and also give your likes to my video it will help me to upload more videos so let us start with the introduction of accounting After going through this unit, you will be able to understand the following topics. In this unit, we will discuss all these topics in part 1. The topics to be covered in this lesson are Introduction need for accounting or what is the need or uses of accounting definition of accounting how do you define uh, accounting functions of accounting bookkeeping and accounting what is the difference between uh, bookkeeping and accounting accounting as a science or an art is Accounting uh, is a science or it is an art. We will discuss later. Users of accounting information. Who are the users of accounting information? All these topics are related to MBA and MCOM, PBA, BCOM, HSC students. So, Please carefully listen what I am to say. So this will help you to increase your grades into A+. So let us start the first topic, Introduction. Accounting is as old as money itself. In India, Chanakya, Chanakya, in his Artha Shastra, embraces the existence of a need for proper accounting and audit. We know from the Puranas that. Chitragupta maintained accounts during the period for ensuring qualities and vices. However, the modern system of accounting owes its origin to Luca Pacioli. 
in modern system of accounting the origin from Pacioli who lived in Italy he is a mathematician a teacher lecturer he created modern system of accountants he lived in Italy in the 18th century 18th century in those early days the business organizations and transactions were not so complex why they are not complex it is because due to small and easily manageable by the proprietor himself the business is very small things have changed during the last 50 years during the last 50 years everything is changed the advent of or origin of industrial revolution has resulted in large scale production so large scale production is one of the factor so competition increases the market increases widening of the market the area of market increases the scope increases this has also reduced the effectiveness of the personal supervision so one person cannot control all over the business because it's large so it resulting the decentralization of authority and responsibility so today there is a great greater need for coordination and control the old technique of management by inuition is not longer considered dependable in the situation in which the modern firm operates so accounting today therefore cannot be the same as it used to be about half a century back it has also grown in importance and has changed its structure with the evolution of industrial organizations in early stages in early stages accounting developed as a result of the need of business firms to keep to keep track of records which means to keep the name of the person um, engaged in business and their relationship whether it is a debtor or creditor debtor means the person who owes something to the business and creditor means the person to whom the business owes something so we will discuss all these accounting terms later so in early stages accounting is only for to keep track of records and the relationship with the outsiders list their assets and liabilities list their assets and liabilities to record their um, track and list assets and liabilities we will discuss what do you mean by assets and liabilities uh, discuss later okay in recent years changes in technology take place recent years a change in technology 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 increases so what happened the whole concept of accounting has changed it has come to be recognized as a tool a tool for economic problems means a tool for to solve to solve I'm sorry to solve economic problems today accounting informations are used 
to solve economic problems which means to make a decision in a business so every business organization may have to face today lot of economic problems so to find a solution for these problems some of the part of these problems can be solved by using accounting informations so accounting informations provide a decision for the organization's future so accounting consists of historical data a files of lot of data and a partially of reports reports means some statements such as uh, trading and profit and loss account trading and uh, profit and loss account balance sheet balance sheet uh, we will discuss all these statements later trading profit or loss accounts reports these are the financial statements and uh, the accounts consist of these financial statements uh, in case of financial accounting in case of management account it includes cost accounting which may include a statement such as uh, cost sheets some other statements so we can say that accounting records the data of historically in nature and um, it reports certain statements it gives certain uh, ideas or conclusions about this data in the form of reports so in recent years today we use accounting for economic to solve economic problems clear so in simple words what is accounting it is a language of business what is business business is any activity which makes profit so we know that every language has a grammar similarly accounting need a grammar accounting says about business so accounting is a language of business every language need a grammar similarly accounting need a grammar through this language a business house communicates with the outside world so language is used for communicating communication so accounting is used to communicate outside words outside words may be creditors investors government agencies anyone we will discuss all these users later so it is necessary that it should be based on certain uh, grammar the language is based on certain grammar or certain uniform and scientifically um, methods or scientifically principles in this unit you will learn about these principles so this language is based on uniform and scientific standards or principles uniform means we know that english is a language used all over the world its alphabet are same in all over the world so a language should have a uniformity similarly accounting has a characters of uniform accounting Uh, rules or standards can be used uniformly all over the world 
so this uniform and scientific standards or uh, grammars are known as accounting principles so this uniform and scientific um, standards are known as accounting principles in this unit you will learn about these principles very detail these principles are not different names known by different names such as one alternative name of accounting principle is concepts accounting concepts and there is postulates concepts postulates basic assumptions fundamental rules prepositions underlying principles all these names are used instead of accounting principles so concepts which is similar to accounting principles same as accounting principle postulates same as accounting principles similarly all these words are used instead of accounting principles but in this unit we use accounting principle instead of all these 